Well, developing right now, the elderly janitor who was locked in an Orange County holding cell for three days is suing. You might remember this happened back in January when she was cleaning the Orange County Courthouse on a Friday night. Fox 35's Randy Hildreth is live outside the Orange County Courthouse for us this morning. And Randy, that woman says the cleaning company did not follow proper protocol. Yeah, good morning to you both. Uh, they are, her attorney is concerned, uh, filing this lawsuit on her behalf, saying that someone with the security team should have realized that she never checked in at, this, at the end of her shift after she finished, uh, after she checked in, and they should have come to find her. Uh, the 72-year-old is seeking damages in excess of $50,000. The suit notes that Victoria Vargas depends on insulin and had to go to the hospital after she was found. And I want to just give a quick time line of what her lawyers say happened. So they say she went to work January 27th, checked in around 5 o'clock, checked in with the staff with Allied Universal Technology Service, had to give them her license, sign in, and get the key to her side area in the courthouse. Her attorney says she went to go start working, went into one of the holding cells to clean it, the door closed, and she was trapped. The suit says a sheriff's deputy didn't find her until Monday the 30th when he heard her crying for help, emphasizing that she was in there for three days with no food or medicine. We spoke to her attorney last month before the suit was filed and he questioned how this could have happened. Nobody went up to the 23rd floor, ever. You know, not Friday night, not Saturday, not Saturday, not Sunday. Now, Allied Security did send us a statement saying, in part, uh, they do not have access to the certain designated area, including where the incident occurred. And we did reach out to the security company to see if they could provide a comment now that this lawsuit has been filed. Uh, in the meantime, uh, county officials say that uh, sc security is responsible for checking on janitorial staff throughout that shift to try to prevent something like this from happening again. Live this morning, Randy Hildreth, Fox 35 News. Randy, thanks.